Hi Bobcats! In this video we're going to continue our look at the pH scale. In particular we're going to run some numbers. We are going to calculate the pH of an acid solution if we are given its molarity. The equation to calculate pH is given by the negative log of the molarity of the hydrogen ion. So log here, we're talking about the base 10 log, and this is going to be the button that on most calculators just says LOG. The square brackets around the hydrogen ion mean that we're looking at its concentration in terms of molarity. To calculate the pH using your calculator, um, I'd like for you to locate a couple of keys on your calculator. Every calculator is a little different, so um, what, I, what I'm about to say may not apply exactly to your calculator, but there should be something um, fairly uh, similar to, to, to what I'm talking about. Um, the first thing that I'd like for you to do um, is locate the change sign key, because remember that there, our equation for pH is that it's negative the log of the molarity of the hydrogen ion. So that negative sign out front means that we're going to need to change the sign of our answer. Um, on different calculators, that change sign key can um, take different uh, forms. Some calculators, they put the negative sign in parentheses. Um, some calculators say something like plus slash minus. Uh, some calculators have something like a plus and a minus, and then they have arrows interconnecting the two. So we're looking for whatever key on your calculator is used to change sign. The other key that I'd like for you to locate real quick here is log, and we want the one that says LOG because uh, there are a couple different log buttons typically on a given calculator, and we're wanting the base 10 log. All right, so if we're going to answer this problem to find the pH of a solution of 0.055 molar HCl, we need to plug the 0.055 molar into this equation for H+. We can do this because HCl is a strong acid, so it completely breaks apart, and every little bit of HCl turns into H plus ion and OH minus ion. So if we have um, 0.055 molar HCl, the way that really exists in solution is 0.055 molar H plus ions and 0.055 molar Cl minus ions. So let's go ahead and plug that into the equation. We've got negative the log of 0.055. Now, the two most common types of calculators I see in classes are scientific calculators and graphing calculators. So I'll do the scientific ones first, and then we'll talk about how you would do it on a graphing calculator. So on a scientific calculator, the first thing you would want to do is to type in the 0.055 and once that's showing on your display, hit the log button. And then after that, hit your change sign key, whatever your change sign key looks like. All right, that should give you the right answer. Now I'm going to run that through on my calculator, 0.055 log and change sign. My calculator is giving me an answer for this of 1.26. Now on the graphing calculator to get that same answer, we're going to do it in a little bit different order. Typically on the graphing calculators, you pretty much type the formula in left to right. So the first thing in this formula is the minus sign. So you need to start with your change sign key. And then after that, you want to hit your log key. And then you want to type in the number, so 0.055. And then on most graphing calculators at this point, you'll need to close the parentheses. And then you'll need to hit equals or enter. I can never remember what most graphing calculators say for that. I just have to push buttons till I get the right thing going. And anyway, if you do that on your graphing calculator, you should end up with 1.26. Just as another example of this, what is the pH of 0 0.015 molar HCl? So the best thing to do right now is to pause this video and calculate this, and then I'll show you what the correct answer is. So go ahead and pause it. 
All right, so you've worked this out on your own calculator. Let's see how you did. Uh, to find the pH, we're going to take, whoops, try that again. pH is equal to minus the log of the molarity of H plus. And so that'll be minus the log of 0 0.015. So if I run that through my calculator, I get a value of 1.82. Is that what you got? I hope you did. If not, go back and review your calculator procedures. There's, you probably just hit a wrong button or reversed two buttons you had to push on your calculator or something like that.